Hello and welcome. My name is Shane Champlin and I am a conversion optimization and lead generation specialist. And what that means is I help my clients, businesses like you, to get more customers and leads from their current website traffic and current digital marketing efforts, right? So uh, this video is to show you why SEO, pay-per-click, social media, and the rest of your marketing just isn't enough anymore to have a profitable web presence and to generate revenue online like it used to be. So I've got a lot to cover, so I'm going to jump right in. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today, all right? First, we're going to talk about the two fundamental things you need in place, the two elements you need in place to have an effective online presence in, in regard to generating revenue, leads, and customers for your business. Next, we're going to talk about why what used to work in digital marketing is not nearly as effective as it used to be, but the companies that are using these same tactics have not changed anything. And I'll go into that in more detail here when we go forward. And then number three, and most importantly, we're going to sh talk about the difference that the right system can make when it comes to revenue generation for your business by looking at two different scenarios, one without a proper lead generation system in place and one with. So that's a really fun part of this presentation, so stay tuned. That's towards the end. Well, let's jump right in. So let's talk about digital marketing at a fundamental level, all right? You need two main components in place to have an effective digital marketing presence. One, you need qualified, interested traffic to your website or into your business, because without a consistent flow of visitors to your website, you have no audience, and thus you have no, pro no, no one to put your product or service in front of, right? Now, 90% of marketing goes towards this focus, getting traffic, getting new customers in the door, and uh, getting them to your website. But they do not focus on turning more of the visitors that are generated into actual leads and customers, okay? Now, I find that most businesses, you may be in the same situation where you have good traffic. You've been paying thousands a month for SEO or SEM, pay-per-click advertising, or social media, or all of the above, or a combination of those, and you actually have good qualified traffic coming to your website, okay? But the other inextricably linked half of this equation is a way to turn those visitors that you're paying and investing so much to get to your website and get in front of, how do you turn those into interested leads and then into customers? And I find that this is where most businesses need help in actually turning the visitors that they pay so much for into new customers and leads. So let's move forward. So most companies spend thousands of dollars per month to get traffic and get visitors to their website, okay? That's search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising like Google AdWords, uh, social media, other paid advertising like Facebook ads, display ads, LinkedIn, Twitter ads, bus bench advertising, and billboards, and then TV and radio commercials, the list goes on and on. But 90% of these efforts are, ge are geared towards getting traffic to your website, not converting that traffic. So the question that you need to be asking if you're in this position if you're paying for SEO, if you're paying for pay-per-click advertising, uh, if you're paying thousands of dollars a month in marketing fees to get traffic and interested visitors to your website and into your business, the question you need to be asking yourself is what happens to those visitors once they get to your site? Because if you don't have something in place to capture them effectively, then you're going to end up losing them to your competition. So let's talk about that a little bit. Traffic just isn't enough anymore, okay? Again, 90% of marketing efforts are geared toward generating traffic, but you can't just generate traffic or you're going to be left behind, right? You need to be able to capture that traffic effectively and actually nurture those visitors from the point where they are, if they're not ready to buy, into the place where they are ready to purchase and with your company. Or you're going to lose out on a lot of money and a lot of business, okay? The landscape has changed drastically. There's two major things going against you right now in marketing. One, you have a much better educated, much less tolerant, much less patient consumer that has more resources and more education at their disposal to make the decision for their situation, right? You combine that with the second element being your competition. Your competition is doing everything you're doing. They're investing in social media. They're investing in SEO. They're investing in pay-per-click advertising like Google AdWords, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads. So how do you set yourself apart, right? They're doing the same things you are. So you have to stand out somehow and you have to make sure that you're capitalizing on all the traffic that you're investing so much in to get those people to your website. So a few statistics to talk about here. Um, one, 96% of your visitors aren't ready to purchase your service today. That means that four out of every hundred people that come to your website are in a position where they could purchase. But that's only if you do a phenomenal job on your website of 
building trust, building relationship with them, building the credibility that you need to get them to take action and actually uh, participate in your services or transact their money for your business. And so that means that most likely some of those people, even that four out of every hundred, you're losing a, a good majority of those back to Google and back to your competition. Okay. Um, most visitors that come to your website are only gathering information at this point. Okay. So one example, uh, people when they buy a car, the average amount of time they spend before purchasing a car is 19 hours and 11 of those hours, 60% are spent on the internet researching. So that tells you that the buying process for something expensive like a car or like a service that you provide could be longer than just today I go online and look for it and I purchase, right? So how do you meet people where they are, where they're gathering information, getting questions to their, or getting answers to their questions and engage them and help walk them through the process of making the right decisions so they buy with you? Next, 80%, 79% of leads never convert into sales. And the reason for that is a lack of lead nurturing. That's the common cause of this poor performance, all right? What that means is they don't have a system in place to be able to meet people where they are, capture that traffic, and then again, nurture them and communicate with them over a period of time to answer their questions and walk them through their buying process so they can make a decision and that they make the decision with that company. Eight out of 10 leads will never convert into sales. And actually six out of 10 leads never get touched more than the first time, the first point of contact. Next, companies that excel at lead nurturing or have systems in place to meet people where they are and capture that traffic with valuable content generate 50% more sales ready leads at a third lower cost. And then finally, nurtured leads make a 47% larger purchase than non-nurtured leads because there's so much value built before the sales conversation ever even happens that you close a higher percentage of those leads as well as you uh, close them at a, higher, at a higher value. Now for the fun part. We're going to look at two different scenarios so I can demonstrate you, to you the difference that the right kind of system is when installed on a website, um, the right process in place to effectively convert traffic can do for a business compared to one that doesn't have those systems in place. So let's look at the, the website that doesn't have those systems in place as a baseline. Let's just say this is a dental practice, okay, for the sake of this, and they get 2,000 visitors per month. They capture 1% of that 2,000 visitors, which is pretty typical when it comes to generating leads. That means they generate 20 leads a month. They sell a quarter of those 20 leads a service, meaning they sell five new patients into their practice, and their average customer value is $2,500. Now we're talking the entire life of that, that patient or that customer of that practice, not the initial transaction. That's the, the value you want to go by when you're quantifying your marketing efforts. So they're worth $2,500. With those numbers, we're looking at $12,500 a month and uh, $150,000 per year, which not bad, but this is the baseline. Now we're going to look at the scenario where we have a system in place that can capture more of that traffic and effectively handle it to get them to buy and walk them through their process and buy with you. So if you could convert one more percent of those 2,000 leads, let's see the difference between what that uh, scenario would be. So again, same 2,000 visitors per month, but instead of capturing 1% of 2,000 visitors, they capture 2%, which is doubling those leads in the door. So that means 40 leads instead of 20 leads. And if we stop right here, if all this system did is double the amount of leads that came in the door because it was able to actually capture some of that traffic that wasn't ready to buy today, that would double your revenue right there if everything else stayed the same, if you could sell a quarter of those leads a, a service. But a system like this, a website that's set up in this way that has the right systems in place, is not only going to capture more leads, but it's going to build so much value before the appointment, before the phone call, before the sales conversation ever even happens, that you're going to sell a higher percentage of those leads. So that instead of selling 25% of the leads that the, current, the, the previous practice did, this practice is able to sell 40% of those leads, which means they bring on 16 patients instead of five. That's more than triple the amount of patients brought in from the first scenario. And then finally, the average customer value goes up as well because so much value is built before that appointment, phone call, or, or consultation happens that when they do buy, they buy at a higher value. So this, these customers are now on average worth 3,400 instead of 2,500. So this is the difference. The total revenue 
is 54,000 per month with the right systems in place compared to 12,500 and 652,800 a year instead of 240,000. Where would you rather be? I mean, it's pretty simple answer, right? But what I want you to understand is these are not pie in the sky numbers, okay? They're a lot higher than the first scenario, but that's because all we did is we were able to capture just 1% more of the total 2,000 visitors that were coming into this website per month, which means that we were able to double the amount of leads. And because that system does nurturing and it also um, builds value before the conversation, we sell more of the leads we bring in and at a higher value. It's that simple. So just to recap, in summary, this is what an effective sales funnel can do for a business. It could take the same 2,000 visitors per day, but instead of capturing 1%, it captures 2% of those visitors, which generates double the leads that the first scenario did. It closes 40% of those 40 leads, so a higher rate of close, and at a higher value, meaning that you bring on more clients, customers, patients, whatever your business model is, and at a higher value average for each of those customers. And it also it generates 54000 a month in revenue instead of 12500 without a lead generation funnel or these optimization systems and processes in place. Okay. So in closing, here are some things that you can carry forward and think about and ask yourself some questions that can help you get on the right track as far as how you see your marketing and how you see your efforts for getting traffic and converting that traffic into customers, okay? Number one, have my results plateaued with SEO, PPC, social media, and my other marketing efforts? So have you experienced your marketing efforts kind of taper off in their effectiveness? Maybe they ramped up initially, you got a lot of leads from it, but now it's kind of slowed down, and it's just kind of humming along, not quite where you want it to be, and you don't really understand why. Well, I can tell you right now, it's because the focus is on getting traffic rather than turning that traffic into leads and customers, right? So ask yourself that question and think hard about it. Next question that you should ask yourself is, am I focusing the vast majority of my marketing efforts on generating traffic and not putting any resources towards converting more of my traffic into leads and customers? Okay, you got to ask yourself this question because, again, if you are putting all your efforts into generating traffic, that's the same thing all of your competitors are doing. That's the same thing that the same competitors that are vying for the same customers that you're vying for, and the customers are seeing the exact same thing on every website if you're doing these same things. So you have to stand out somehow. So are you focusing all your all your funds, all your marketing efforts on generating traffic and not putting any efforts towards converting more of that traffic? If you are, then you need to think about conversion rate optimization to some degree. And then finally, how can I get more clients out of the traffic that I already have coming to my website instead of investing more money on more SEO and more blogging and more content marketing and all those things that bring traffic in, more social media and all that stuff? How can you get more customers from what you already have coming? If you've already invested so much money and you have good traffic, you've got to ask yourself this question because if you don't, you're going to continue to waste money each and every month on marketing efforts that will plateau. They will eventually take taper off and there's the only way that you can improve your marketing at that point is to focus on how you can turn more of your visitors into leads and then customers. So uh, coming up I'm going to have another video here that shows you practical strategies on how you can actually do these things. How you can focus more of your energy and resources on actually converting more of your visitors into leads and customers and also towards nurturing those people that you bring in. Meeting them where they are if they're researching and gathering information and getting questions answered Answered, how you can meet them where they are, answer their questions, and engage with them effectively through valuable content, and then nurture them to the point where they actually do make a decision to buy with your company. That will be the next video that I make. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'd love your feedback.